Oh, oh. Hey, hey, just a Mr. War here, trying to pretend he's a ghost. You know, Casper, the friendly ghost. Hey, do you guys remember that show? Did you probably don't see like the reruns, Casper? Anyway, what's that all about? I'm going to connect Casper with mathematics, my friends. Hey, another math video here. Welcome to our new template, eh? Pretty cool. I like the colors. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. We have a lot to do in a very short period of time. It looks like we have here that our objective is going to be... <clears throat> uh, remember, objective it just means the purpose, the purpose of what we're going to learn. So it says here we're going to use decimal decimal multiplication to express equivalent measurements okay so decimal multiplication which we've already done to express equivalent measurements and we did a little bit of that yesterday you recall with feet and inches and that kind of thing that's all we're doing piece of cake we'll fly through this extremely quickly except of course if we get to the metrics uh, the metric system a little bit more challenging but first let's go ahead and do some fluency practice here this is really important uh, for our development of math as well. So, as you can see here, let's go ahead and do a couple problems. We may have done some of these yesterday. Like we took, well, let's do 420 divided by 10. Okay, a little bit on a larger scale. We talked about the power of 10. We need to get quicker at these. We need to be able to see that that's a power of 10 so that basically we're only, we're basically doing 42 divided by 1. Okay, so 412. <laughs> See, I'm talking again. Ooh, sometimes my brain won't work the same way here. Let's take this out. So since it's a power of 10, what we can do is um, take uh, divide both by 10, and then you see the simple facts that are there. So let me take another 42 divided by 2. Okay, what's happening here? Well, look, it's similar, but now we're taking a number, and we're, we're, we're basically cutting it in half, 21. When we divide by 2, we split a number in half. Okay, we're dividing the 4 by 2, and we're dividing the 2 by 2, giving us 21. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one here. 420 divided by 20. Okay, what's happening here? See, now you look at this, you can see that um, we have still got that power of 10 that we can take out. That's really... Um, that right here, you see, you can see the same power 10. So let's go ahead and take that out. And now look, at we've got that same problem we just had, 42 divided by 2, okay, 21, because that's just half, okay? And basically, when you start seeing patterns like this, it allows you to do a lot of different things. Now, like with this problem here, if you look at this, you can see that 20 here is 10. 10 times, well, it's 10 times 2, but what we did, though, is we divided. So 20 is 10 times 2, but that's what we did. We basically said, hey, let's divide 420, okay, by 10, and then that's been divided by 10, giving us 2. Now we have our 42 divided by 2, okay? All these are the patterns and structures, uh, uh, basically um, structure to different problems, okay? Let's move on. Unit conversions. This is where we're going to be kind of focusing our lesson on today. Okay. We did this like a while ago. Um, beginning in, in module one, this is building upon that. We have one meter. Okay. One meter equals how many centimeters? Everybody, let's hear you. 100. Because that wonderful word, that root, there, centi, means 100. Just like milli means 1,000. Okay. And so does kilo, means 1,000. It's all based on that meter. One meter, 50 centimeters. Okay, now they're adding something on. Well, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So then 100 plus 50 means that would equal 150 centimeters. One foot. Now, you guys know this one. That's really easy. One foot, four inches. Okay, we're converting all these into inches now. Now we have... 12, so we have 16, okay? And I know, isn't this easy? Pretty easy. I mean, even a caveman could do it. Ah, oh, my God, what happened? Whoa, did you see that? Oh, I, I am sure I saw a bat. Oh, I don't know, that was just, that was like here and gone. Oh, my goodness. 
Woo! This award, I'm getting a little nervous here doing this job. This is kind of hazardous to my health. Okay, so let's go ahead and de decompose some decimals. We've done this before. It's all kind of review to kind of build on today's lesson here. Um, we had a lot, like if we had, ooh, can't turn that into an eight. Can I? That's what I wanted to write here. Goodbye. Come on down. All right. So we have 3.184. I like that number. 3.184. Now, how many, if we were to take this and we had to write this, like we know this here is going to equal 31 tenths if I wanted to say this part here. So if I had a problem such as 31 tenths, I just should say, this whole number doesn't equal 31 tenths, but if we wanted to show this number as 31 tenths and so many hundredths, we could definitely say that 3 has 10 tenths in each hole. Therefore, I would have 30 tenths here plus my 1 tenth giving me 31 tenths. I want you guys to see that. Three holes here. Okay. We've done this before. And now we have 30 tenths. And then we have one more tenth, and that gives us a 31 tenth. So then how many hundredths would we have? Well, if we use this here, you can see, then we would have 84 hundredths. Let's write that down. Okay? And this is a lot of decomposing the numbers that we did before. Okay? Now I'm going to kind of keep moving on, keeping that speed up. All right. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Looks like a little table here. And um, I wonder, hmm, I wonder what we're supposed to do here. Uh-oh. What happened? We will redo it. See, well, let me even do that. So you know what? I'm just going to do it like that. See, that way you don't get confused. Yes, that is part of the code. So here you can see that we have a problem. It says Emma's class is preparing for field trip to the Statue of Liberty. In math class, they are researching Lady Liberty's size. Okay. Help Emma finish the table. I'm sure you guys have seen the Statue of Liberty. So somewhere uh, dedicated from, from France, as a matter of fact. So the Statue of Liberties, we're going to convert this into inches. Okay. Wow, her mouth is three feet wide. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to convert this into inches. So what I'm going to do here, since I don't really need this top part anymore, I'm just going to extend the page to give me a little bit more room. And so now if we look at this, I can do my writing down here. Three feet. So three feet then is going to equal so many inches. And the way we can convert this is, since we're going from, first of all, we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. So it makes sense that if we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, the number here may look larger. It's going to look larger than three. But we need to find out how many inches first are in one foot. And that would be 12. So now we have 12 inches in one foot. So in order to figure out how many inches are in three feet, we would need to time that by three, giving us 36. Okay? Easy enough. 36. The head is 10 feet from ear to ear. Wow. They're giving us some pretty cool numbers. So same thing. We take our 10 feet, right? We have so many inches. And now we'll do the same thing. We're going to multiply, okay, this one here by 12, okay, because there's 12 inches in one foot, okay, so we're going to take 12 times 10 feet, which is going to be 120, okay, we are good with this so far, see how these numbers are a lot larger because this is a smaller unit, and now we have 111 feet, and again, we're going to multiply that by 12, this is going to be, wow, this is how tall it's going to be in inches, 2, 2, 2, imagine that, whoa, placeholder one 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 <laughs> didn't line that up very well but be careful three three one does that seem reasonable one thousand three three hundred thirty two inches here we had one hundred twenty inches okay so what we're going to do here is oh it's going to do that thing again uh, there we go that's what it should have been anyway um so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the concept development. And this is all about converting. So this is really what we're looking at about using decimal multiplication to express uh, equivalent measures. Okay. 
Are we really having fun? Hey, I bet you guys are. Okay. Come on, don't lie. You like it. So, let's take seven. Am I still using magic pen? No. Okay. Uh, 7.43 kilometers. Somebody's knocking at the door. <laughs> I'm going to have to ignore it. Okay. So, we're going to change 7.43 kilometers into meters. So, if we do that, hmm, we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. You need to know that. So, our number is going to grow here. Just like if it was the opposite, the number would look smaller. But, you know, we can do some of our concept kind of understanding here. We know a kilometer is 1,000 meters. Well, if that's true, then if I have 7 kilometers, then that would mean I would have 7,000 meters. So my answer is going to have to be 7,000 and something, right? That makes sense. And you know what? The only way I could get that 7,000 for the meters then is by simply saying, well, wait a second. If that's true, then I can take my 43, and that's going to be added on. So I have 7,000 right there, and now I have 0.43 kilometers. Now to turn this into meters, since I know there's 1,000, I can actually just move the decimal. And that's the beauty of the metric system, just like the power of 10. So if I move the decimal three times because 1,000 has three zeros, look what happens. The decimal comes over here, okay, and I have this little loop-de-loop, -loop, okay, and the loop-de-loop -loop right there, I put my zero, and look, it's just like that, the number has changed. So this would be 7,430, okay? Seems easy enough. It <laughs> seems too easy. Yeah, little, yeah, a caveman could do this. It's too easy. It almost seems unfair. And now that's with the metrics that we could do this with anyone. We could do this with, um, let me see here. We, let's just, I'm just going to make one up here, 8.49. And now if I went, if this was meters, and now I'm going into kilometers, okay? This is this one here. So now I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So now the number here is going to look smaller because the decimal is going to do the opposite. Because you need 1,000 meters to equal one kilometer. Look, at, I don't have 1,000 meters. I only have eight. So this is, has to be less than a kilometer because I don't have enough meters. So the decimal is going to go in the opposite direction. So it's going to go three places, 1,000 this way. Now suddenly this makes more sense, that my kilometers is going to be 849. I know I made this number up here. This is thousands, ten, a hundred thousandths, okay? Uh, ten thousand, hundred thousandths. So now that's a really small number because they didn't have enough meters, and that's because kilometers are really large, okay? So let me come down here and do that again, but let's do with some regular units like this. And I'm doing these quickly because I know the time. I'm watching it. So, anyways, let's do that. And, anyway, um, I hope that you're watching that because that's going to go bye-bye. Goodbye. And so, let's go ahead and let's get some red out. It's a different color. So, 1.8 miles, yards. Well, we need to know how many yards then are in one mile. And it just so happens that there are 1,760 yards in one mile. So knowing that, now I can figure out, well, since I have one mile, that means I'm going to have at least 1,760 yards, but I have a little bit more, or actually not even a little bit more, almost two miles, so it's going to almost be double. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my miles, which is 1.8, and I'm going to multiply it by 1,760, okay? And if we did that, let's do that. I'm going to leave the decimal there, okay? 0, 48, carry the 4, 56, 60, slow down here, 8, 14. Okay, placeholder, 0, 6, 7, 1. Running out of room here, and looks like 31, 6, 8, 0. But I have a decimal in there I have to pull out and put that in there. So I end up with just 3,168, which is about right. We said almost double. It's a little bit less than double. So there you go. And let's go ahead and do that. So you can see by um, this conversion, there's a lot of these and the rest of these we will do on Monday. 
as this is your video to watch. My friends, thank you so much for participating in this incredibly exciting video. No. <laughs> anyway, have a nice weekend. Goodbye.